Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about importing everything from a module. So you might see encode something like this, from random, import, and then instead of like rand int, you might have just an asterisk. So instead of importing one thing, you're actually importing everything. And it's imported directly, so we don't have to prefix with random. What that means is I can go down here and I can say rand int, pass in some data here, get a random number between 0 and 10, running this and we get 8. We didn't have to say random.randint. So although this is very convenient, it's also quite dangerous, and I'll explain why. Well, anytime you import asterisk, it brings all of those variables in, so it really increases your chances of naming conflicts. For small applications, it's not really the end of the world. However, as we build larger applications, it introduces potential bugs. You just gotta watch out for it. So to see this, check this out. What we can do is we can print and call this function called dir, and here's what it's going to do. It returns the names in the current scope. So it's going to grab all of the identifiers that are currently available. So when we run this, we get some interesting data. Here's all the stuff we can use. There's nothing in here I immediately recognize because I haven't created any variables. But if I create some variables up here, let's say we had A, B, C, D, and we just assign these 0, 0, 0, and 0. Running it now, take a look at it now, and we have new identifiers in this list. So when we say something like from random import rand int, that's going to add this directly into our identifier list here. So running it, and you can see rand int here. If we say import asterisk, it's going to import everything, making this list very long, adding a bunch of data to this list. And you can see what is added exactly by going into random and taking a look at underscore underscore all. And it's actually in alphabetical order here, so that's why it doesn't match up exactly. But let's say you're looking for random, you're just gonna go to the R's and see it right there. So let's say we continue this habit and start importing a bunch of modules. So we grab a bunch of other ones and we just say import asterisk. And we'll just do a couple more. JSON import asterisk from q import asterisk. And when we do this, now this dir is going to give us a ton of identifiers. You can scroll through this and just see that the list is overwhelming. And you can see that how this could cause problems. What are the chances that one of these modules has a name the same as another module? Well, in that situation, one is gonna replace the other. And if we ever create a variable, we could accidentally replace one of these in here. So you don't want to use import asterisk very often. My rule of thumb is to not do import asterisk unless there is a specific reason you need to, which off the top of my head, I can't think of any, but if that comes up, then do it. Otherwise, do yourself a favor and don't use import asterisk. Just import what you need or just import the modules. So when you import a module just like this, that only adds one thing to this list, random, but you can access all of those members through that random variable by just saying random dot. So it just makes your life a little bit safer to go this route. All right, well, I'm sick of hearing myself blabber. So in the next video, we're going to actually create our own module, which again is just a Python file, nothing too crazy. So stay tuned for that. It should be pretty fun and simple. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you then.